Alex Mack against Kevin Givens. Uh, I'm curious to see what Alex Mack has left. I know what Kevin Givens can do. Kevin Givens, in my opinion, is the best interior rusher on this team. Um, maybe the second best after Eric Armstead, but certainly, certainly better than Javon Kinlaw, uh, better than DJ Jones. He's like, he's not like Aaron Donald, but his style is like Aaron Donald. He's about 285 pounds, six foot one, really low to the ground, hard to block, explosive, strong, just like a little bowling ball. Uh, he really gave Daniel Brunskill, uh, Hronis Grasu, all kind of problems last year. Is Alex Mack an upgrade over those guys? Um, Alex Mack's going to have his, his hands full. Alex Mack's 6'5", Kevin Givens 6'1". He's going to have to get real low. Uh, he's going to have to handle a really explosive, strong man. Kevin Givens isn't even a starter in the NFL, um, but he's a handful, and I'm curious to see if Alex Mack can handle him. Because my my biggest question with this offseason and this offense is Mac. Uh, the Niners have 17 million in cap space. There were better offensive, there were better centers available. Uh, Corey Lindsley, a bunch, a bunch of guys that were more expensive and younger. Mac's gonna be 36 this year. They went with him because he's a little bit cheaper, older, and he knows the system. Okay, well, knowing the system isn't gonna help you out in one-on-ones. Let's see what you got against a backup nose tackle in Kevin Givens, who I think is pretty talented. But, I mean, he's no more talented than any other guard that, that nose tackle than Max going to have to face uh, on Sunday. Other guys I want to see him face. Maurice Hurst, Zach Kerr, Contavious Street. What you got, Alex? I know these are young, good athletes that uh, really are just backups. So I'm really curious to see how Alex Mack handles the Niners' supercharged, Chris Kosarik-led, defensive interior.